Two million years ago, our earliest ancestors created the world's first tool by chiseling one rock against another until all that was left was a flint spearhead. This method, starting with a block of material and chiseling away particles, is known as subtractive manufacturing. Fast forward two million years, and we now have additive manufacturing, or 3D printing, which is going from deceptive to disruptive growth at this very moment. Through the process of 3D printing, where material is added layer by layer to build any three-dimensional object you want, literally from the bottom up. With 3D printing, you can 3D print a solid block of materials or a block with your name written on it and a thousand moving parts in the same amount of time. Complexity and personalization come for free. Soon, instead of ordering, say, a new iPhone case off Amazon and waiting 24 hours for overnight delivery, you can just download a file and 3D print it on your desk. This technology has the potential to disrupt a $10 trillion global manufacturing industry and create a new generation of entrepreneurs. 3D printers, whose parts are driven by computers, are part of the larger exponential technology category of robotics, which are becoming more intelligent, more versatile, and capable of doing jobs that could once only be done by humans. Today, working robots range from Google's driverless car to suitable technology's telepresence robot, which can help you transform your senses from anywhere to anywhere, instantly, without transporting your atoms. But tomorrow's robots will be combined with another exponential technology, artificial intelligence, the ability of a computer to understand human language, take direction, provide answers and opinions, taking our robots from those that stock shelves to those you trust to expertly perform brain surgery. While today's artificial intelligence exists in forms like Siri and IBM's Watson, which understand the nuance of human language, in the future, AI will look more like Jarvis from Marvel's Iron Man, quickly gathering incomprehensible amounts of data from the Internet to make incredibly accurate split-second decisions. But we're not talking about your father's Internet anymore. By 2020, the number of network devices on the planet will have grown from our current 8 billion to over 50 billion and moving quickly toward 1 trillion. This global network or Internet of Things will connect everyone and everything, and at the end of these connections will be an explosion of a trillion sensors, taking in images, listening to sounds, and measuring everything from vibrations to acceleration to temperature. The information gathered by these sensors will then be carried by the Internet of Things to AIs, which will then mine this explosion of data, allowing you to effectively know anything you want, anytime, anywhere. Perhaps this shouldn't come as much of a surprise, but the rate of technological progress is actually accelerating. After all, unlike the two-million-year-old spearhead, the earliest mechanical computers, invented a mere century ago, have been doubling in price performance every 18 to 24 months, progressing from mechanical computers to relays, vacuum tubes, transistors, to today's integrated circuits at epic speeds. Computers are now a million times faster, a million times smaller, and a thousand times cheaper than they were just 25 years ago. At this rate, over the next 25 years, computers will soon become microscopic in size, infinite in supply, and effectively free. This infinite computing power, along with artificial intelligence, will converge to transform the last, and certainly not least, disruptive exponential technology we'll be talking about, the field of synthetic biology. Every living organism contains the instruction code of DNA, written in four letters, A, T, C, and G, that directs everything, what proteins and carbohydrates the cell produce, and where the cell is muscle, nerve, or skin. Today, with the advent of synthetic biology, DNA has become our new programming language. Using infinite computing and AI, we can design a sequence of DNA that will direct a cell to manufacture the perfect protein or carbohydrate to be used for foods, fuel, or vaccines far more tailored and efficient than ever before. Today, we are going from evolution by natural selection, or Darwinism, to evolution by intelligent direction. Thanks to these six exponential technologies, capabilities, and knowledge that once fell solely under the domain of powerful governments and the world's largest corporate giants, are now tools that sit in the hands of the entrepreneur, giving you the power to see and fix problems faster than ever before, and moving us toward a world of true abundance and the unprecedented creation of wealth. The next 25 years are going to be an extraordinary ride. Buckle up and let's get started.